guys, welcome to Allotronics. I'm Gregory, and in this video, we are talking about the 10 gigahertz source homebrew, homemade DIY signal source we are designing here on the channel. The idea of this project is for us to learn about high frequency stuff, designing ourselves and prototyping here on the bench. And my idea is to generate a 10 gigahertz signal, a very clean signal that can be used in the bench as a source, a reference source of 10 gigahertz. Let's see the topology I'm thinking about and I already started testing here on the bench and I think is the topology we are going to use. Let's comment here in the comment section to talk about and if we can improve it or make it different. So guys, my idea is to start with a 100 megahertz oscillator using a crystal. But this crystal here will be a 20 megahertz crystal and this oscillator will be running at the harmonic number five. So at the harmonic number five. I don't know how to pronounce this number here in English. And here the output of this reference oscillator, 100 megahertz, using a 20 megahertz crystal. This is the reference oscillator of our source. So we can see that we need to create a way of phase locking the output of the source to this reference oscillator. My idea here, guys, is to not use prescalers. I don't want to use prescalers because I don't like prescalers. And we can learn more using a different approach, I think. So my idea here is to use a VCO running at 5 gigahertz, and we're going to phase lock the VCO to the reference using a sampler. Whoa, let's see what is the topology of the sampler. So we have the VCO here. This is the VCO, and my idea is to run this VCO at 5 gigahertz. And I have here the prototype of the VCO. Now it's only running up to 3.6 gigahertz. We need to improve it, but this is the prototype, and you're going to see the prototype in the next video. But the main idea is to run this VCO at 5 gigahertz. As the output of the circuit needs to be 10 gigahertz, my idea is to have a frequency doubler here using the topology we already study here in the channel and we need also a final amplifier here to generate the output signal and probably we need some bandpass filtering and filtering of the harmonics but i will not draw this here in the whiteboard the 5 gigahertz signal will enter the frequency doubler to generate the 10 gigahertz output. This amplifier needs to have a very good output match to the fifth on load because 10 gigahertz is a very high frequency. Small distance are significant transmission lines that need to be well matched. This can be an integrated amplifier like an air amplifier or probably as we like here in our electronics discrete design we are probably trying to make an amplifier using a BFP620 that has plenty of transition frequency to amplify a 10 gigahertz signal. This transistor here, if I'm not mistaken, has 45 gigahertz of transition frequency. Probably here the doubler will also be made with a BFP. This is the way we are going to generate the 10 gigahertz signal with a 5 gigahertz VCO and a doubler and an output amplifier. And now we need to phase lock this amplifier to a 100 megahertz source reference source. This is not easy and I don't want to use prescalers because I don't like prescalers. My idea here guys is to sample part of the VCO signal and input this sample here in a sampler. We can think of the sampler as a very high speed mixer. We can think about this and it's made with a scotch diode bridge and a step recovery diode. The sampler can actually be modeled as a comb generator with a very high frequency mixer. So I will draw this. The comb generator, a step recovery diode here and this comb here will enter the sampler that we can draw it here as a very high speed mixer. So we're going to mix the 5 gigahertz signal of the VCO with the fifth harmonic, the harmonic number fifth. Okay, 
Fifth harmonic. What is interesting, guys, is that actually this frequency here needs to be tuned. So this crystal needs to be tuned to 99.8 megahertz, okay? So 99.8 times fifth, the fifth harmonic, will be here 4,099 megahertz. And here we have 5,000 megahertz. So now we down converted the signal of the VCO a 10 megahertz signal. This is very interesting. Now we can phase lock with the phase detector, phase and frequency detector. We can phase lock this signal here with this signal here divided by 10. Now we have the control voltage here that needs to enter the filter to control the VCO. Actually, we have only one frequency where this setup will lock and it is not exactly 99.8 and will not be exactly 10 megahertz here because these frequencies here need to match, okay? So we need to change the frequency of the crystal, we need to turn the crystal so we have a common IF signal enter the PFD here to control the VCO. You can make the math to see exactly where this IF frequency here will land and what needs to be exact, exactly this X megahertz and the crystal here will also be X megahertz X over 5 megahertz, okay? So all these paths here will combine in an equal YF that can be mixed, down converted, frequency phase compared, phase compared to create the control voltage of the VCO. What's more interesting here, guys, is that I'm already testing also the sampler and the sampler works, guys. This is the prototype of the sampler and it works. Unbelievable, we can mix the 5 GHz signal with the 5th harmonic of 100. You can see that the sampler is a 3-dimensional structure because the design of the sampler I created needs this 3-dimensional structure to input the signals right in the diodes and the step recovery diode needs to be fluctuating here over the scotch pair. Man, this will be very nice. I'm very excited. So guys, this is the topology I'm thinking about. My biggest concern here is the turning of the crystal. If we don't have a good range in the turning of the crystal, this setup will not work. And tuning of crystals is very limited in a narrow band. So this probably is the biggest concern of the project. I already tested that the sampler works, the VCO can work. And after I saw that the VCO worked up to 3.6 gigahertz. Thinking now in a set, I'm thinking now in a setup where we can probably have 3.3 gigahertz here with a frequency tripler here in the output. And we need to change all this path here. The frequencies will not be the same here, but probably this also can be done. Probably this here will be the third 33 harmonic. Yeah. And I think we can make it work with a 3.3 gigahertz. 5 gigahertz in FR4 is not easy to make it oscillate, okay? Because we need plenty we need we need plenty of gain to make it oscillate and with FR4 PCB not so easy to make it oscillate at 5 gigahertz. Okay guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video and I see you in the next video here on Now Electronics. Bye bye.